Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Perhaps you can assist us with a problem we're having here in the Market District. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. His inventory must be stolen. It has to be. He prices less than it costs to make some of those things. Go see for yourself. I hope you're more successful uncovering his scheme than we've been. Thanks again for your help. We had no other place to turn. Hello there. Hi there. What's going on? What kind of deal can I make for you today? What about my inventory? Well, thank you. It's not only a fine assortment of goods, but a bit of a treasure trove. You never know what I'll have in stock. I can see by the look on your face, you wonder where I get all these fantastic items. I'll tell you what I tell everyone else who asks. It's all about who you know. My sources are good, but they are secret. Anyway, have fun looking around, and when you are ready to buy, give me a shout. Well, that would be a trade secret. I can't divulge how I pass the great savings on to you now, can I? Just like a baker not revealing his best recipes, I must keep my sources anonymous, or every merchant in town would use them. Suffice to say, they are quite reliable and low cost. That way, you walk out with a full coin purse. You have some nerve. Where do you come off accusing me of something you know nothing about? Now, either buy something or get out. Goodbye. Why are you following me? Please, go away. I'm quite busy. Please, I'm very busy.
That you, Agamir? Shh, not so loud. How many times have I told you that? Sorry, I am not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Oh, just shut up and listen to me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Same assortment of things? I mean, I have enough clothing for now. You take what I get. I get notice at the last second, and I have to jump on it. No time to be picky about it. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Gen Scene and tell her about your little scheme. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the item, and we'll be together. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. Why are you following? Please, I'm very... Yeah. Don't know anyone by that name. Now go away. Yeah. Inventory? I am a simple trapper. My inventory just consists of pelts and skins. I would hardly call that inventory. Now get out of my way. Greetings to you. Welcome back. I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm, yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? Yes, you do that. 
And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. I don't even want to look at it for another moment. I hope everyone can forgive me for not doing a better job checking up on my sources. I hope you can forgive me. I had no idea. I had a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave. Were you able to stop Agamir? Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you, I'd be next. It is fortunate that your skills exceeded his. I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made, as well as what is left of these stolen items, to the temple. I also want you to know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen, and I have decided to join the society. I realize you risked your life to give me a chance, and Thorinir never forgets things like that. Accept this ring as a humble reward. It's the least I can do to say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. I have disposed of all my ill-gotten merchandise and replaced it with more expensive but carefully obtained items. The King and Queen Tavern isn't a bad place to stay if you're visiting the city. You've shown me mercy. I won't forget that. Thank you. Can you spare a coin? I have been anxiously awaiting your return. I am pleased that Thorinir has decided to donate his inventory to the temple. At least he is trying to make amends. The very thought of what Agarmir was doing sickens me. I hope those poor souls rest in peace now that this is over. Well done! This shovel will certainly confirm Agarmir's crimes. Along with the manifest, it should prove useful to the City Watch. In your absence, Thornir visited and we spoke at length about his role in this scheme. I believe him when he says he didn't know Agamir's sources. He told me of his intentions to donate all of the money and inventory to the local temple. He also agreed to buy and sell merchandise at fair prices.
Last but not least, he's officially joined the society. I am taken aback by his honest intentions. In return, the society has decided not to press charges. His name will be absconded from the records of this crime. Now, I'm sure you are waiting to hear about your reward. The society thanks you for everything you have done. Please, take this gold. Many thanks on behalf of all of us. Everyone comes to the big city to buy and sell. Why not? More stores, better selection, better prices. I think we're in for some hard times. The death of Uriel Septim and his heirs changes everything. I'm mature enough to admit I was mistaken about Thorinair. He's a welcome member of our group in the Market District. It's been a pleasure doing business with you.